Hello everyone, Rex here and welcome back to more Let's Play Chrono Trigger Blind. We are still doing the side quest. Last time around we did the Hero's Ruins, or the Hero's Grave Northern Ruins. Today we're going to go ahead and go into the Giant's Claw. Now I have Marty with me because she's hasn't really been used at all by me for like forever. Uh, and she's supposedly linked to this quest story-wise. I also have Ayla since she is together with Marty the lowest level and Robo because... Why not, Robo? Those holes, perhaps they are meant to be jumped into. Yes, I'd best start all over. Interesting. So some holes that are meant to be jumped into. Did I miss anything over here? Or is that just the rocks? I guess that's just the rocks. Okay. So let's see. There's a chair. We can giggle as we sit on it. What? Why Reptite Castle here? This castle must have been buried underground when lavas impacted the surface. Hmm, interesting. I guess... I guess that makes Ayla a good fit too, because she was around in the Reptite fight. I also like how that sounds, Reptite fight. That just has a really nice rhythm to it. Okay, let's see, there's a chest there. Oh! Oh wait, except... Um, these guys are going to be real annoying to beat without lightning. Ruby armor, that sounds pretty cool. Actually. No, I think we've had ruby armor before, actually. And it wasn't really all that great. Oh, actually, we have, I like, we have uh, this with Robo. So that should work. I mean, yeah, we, we basically have crap all with um, Marley. She doesn't really have anything good. I guess that does pretty decently. Let's just smash. There we go. I guess we got through that battle without too much trouble. Although it did take up quite a bit of uh, Robo's um, MP. Also, we learned Twin Charm, and we got a Clarity Cap. I know we've had a Clarity Cap before. Friends Confuse, it's three lower, but we can't get confused anymore. That actually sounds worth it. Also, I want to check really quickly for dual attacks. Twin Charm, distract and steal from an enemy. So how, how is that better than a regular charm? I'm confused. I, I kind of want to know why that would be better because it doesn't really say. Let's see. Okay, there would be a pot down. Let's explore this room a little bit more before we go down there. Oh, okay. Some more birdies show up. Uh, let's, uh... Let's see what I can charm out of you guys. Turbo Ether, sweet. I like how many things have Turbo Ethers. Because this is another place where I could potentially grind them. Uh, let's try, let's try a laser spin to do some damage on the air. And I don't really know what I want to do. At least Robo and Marty are both immune to Confuse because of their equipment, so I'm good on that front. Let's just try to beat them up a bit more. Okay, that's one of them down. Marty is so weak though. I guess it's in part because I, you know, haven't really used her at all. So she never had the chance to really grow. So it's partly my fault, but also like, I don't know, she, she's just kind of weak. And she doesn't have great text to really make up for it, I feel. So yeah, I don't know. I might actually switch her out until I have to use her. Okay, well here's another path that we can take. Okay, there's a save point. 
that we can actually save on. Okay. That drops holes, and... Oh, no! It dropped the cat! It dropped the cat! I didn't want the cat to get dropped. Huh. Wait, but... Oh, right. Thomas said the holes are to be jumped down into. So I guess... It's a good thing that we jumped down here. Let's uh, charm the fossil ape. Ow! Marley is dead. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and have to swap Marley out because she's. She's just not doing it. She's too weak. She just legitimately will die too easily. She doesn't output any kind of significant damage. I just don't think it's worth having her in the party. So let's go ahead and do some more attacking here. Those guys keep throwing me. I'm not a fan of that. Pretty significant damage. The only question I have basically is who should I swap in? I might swap in Chrono because he has lightning and we're gonna face like some dinosaurs so it would be helpful there especially since robo's only lightning tech costs like half his mp or something so i don't really want to have to rely on that to stun them so i think that makes the most sense yeah okay i'm sorry marty but you're out. You're just too weak. Okay, that doesn't open up. We could leave this room. Okay, that opens up now. Oh, and that just called in some guys. Okay, well. I figured that if the one switch does the good thing, the other one should do something bad. But I wanted to see for myself anyway. Curiosity killed the cat, and Curiosity could potentially have killed me here too. But these enemies aren't really tough enough to kill me. So, we're all good. This seems like a pretty confusing place to navigate though so far. Oh, what, what is this? A strength capsule. I guess that's all in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, and there's something shiny down there. I'm not sure if we can get that. Oh, wait. We can if we go here. Another shrunk capsule. Nice. I'll probably use all of my capsules after I'm done side questing. I don't really feel like using them right now. Partly because I'm not really sure who I want to use them on. Partly because I feel like maybe I want to just... Like, go with one party that I think is, like, the strongest setup. And then just, you know, stick with that setup for the rest of the game or the final dungeon. And just boost those guys' stats the most. I'm not sure. Let's do a lightning on all. You guys are doing so much damage consistently. It's frustrating. I'm gonna have to do some healing with Robo here, I'm guessing. Uh, let's do a heal beam on everyone. Especially Ayla could use it. Please die, Fossil Ape. I, I really don't like you. Why are you still alive? Electric mini burst? What? That did way too much damage. I don't like how much damage these guys do. 162. Maybe I should put some light resisting armor on some of my people. That would probably actually be a good idea if I'm gonna keep this up. 
Oh, nice. Level up. We'll see what I get from this chest. A blue gemstone. I'm guessing that's going to be a triple tech thing. Um, black plate. Do I have a white plate? I have a white vest. Someone has the white plate on. Marty has the white plate on. Yeah, sorry. You're going to go ahead and take that off now. And you can put on the white plate. Um, also... Just to check. No. Are you the only one who can use the gemstones? Enables Omega Flare Triple Tech. But I'm guessing that's only in certain parties. So was that with you three? That doesn't give me Omega Flare. I don't know what, like, the party conditions are to get Mega Flare. Whatever. Ooh, they have a triple tech now. Twister. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep exploring this place. See, there's a ladder that leads up as well as a ladder that leads down. There's a treasure chest down there. Oh, and one over here. Very sneakily hidden. Zodiac cape. Sounds like a pretty good... Pretty good cape. Lapis. Okay. Anything over here? Oh, there keep being different routes. And I'm not sure, like, what the best place to go is. Um, can anyone but Magus wear capes, by the way? Because I feel like that's just a Magus thing. Well, he's not allowed to wear the Zodiac cape, so I'm guessing... I'm guessing... Yeah, magic defense plus 10. Huh, that's pretty good. Can you wear the cape? You cannot. Chrono? No, maybe it's just for Ayla. We'll give her the Zodiac cape. Let's see here. Well, two of you. And one of you. Well, in that case, let's do a charm on the sore. Then do lightning two on all of you. Oh yeah, you just have ruby armor. So actually, I shouldn't bother charming you. Because I don't need ruby armor. The only point ruby armor would have is so I can sell it. But... At that point, why would I need it? Okay, well, Chrono got healed by that, so that's good. But the rest got damaged by that pretty bad. Which is definitely less good. Let's, uh, let's take you guys out. If I can. Okay, you are dead now. Let's, ah, oh, damn it, he did the electric mini burst. Oh, but he did it on Chrono, that's great. That's actually perfect, because that just healed him. I mean, he didn't need the healing, so I guess it didn't do anything, but... Still, better than damaging one of my other party members. Ouch! That hurts. You know, that, that really hurts. Why don't you just stay paralyzed for a bit longer or something? Or just be dead. That works. I'm okay with that. I keep getting these barrier spheres and shield spheres, and at some point I'm gonna have to use them. That point is not yet here, though. Okay, we can go through here. How do we open this mouth? Can I just check it? I cannot. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing so much in this dungeon. Because there's so many different pots to take. But I, I'm just going to have to hope that I eventually get past everything. I'm going to charm an elixir off of you. Because that's what you give, right? Mega elixir even. Even better. Let's do lightning too. How? Stupid fossil apes, you hurt me too much. And I don't appreciate it. Oh, that healed them. That, that's not fun. Uh, 
Uh, you should heal everyone anyway. The lightning heals those stupid purple flyers. I want the fossil herb gone first anyway. Because the fossil herb hurts a lot more, I feel. Yeah, these guys don't hurt too badly. I guess the fossil herb doesn't hurt that badly either, huh? Oh well, it's dead now. Do you guys die quickly? You should. Hopefully. There you go, that's you down. Oh, you dropped me. Come on. There you go. Okay. So let's see here. There's another room we can go. There's, there's switches on the floor and there's, of course, enemies on the other side. I should have figured as much. I kind of did figure that much. But I still decided to go here and... Really? You're triple teaming Chrono? Please, guys. That's just rude. That's just really, really rude. Uh, let's actually heal. And you attack the false ape, because the false ape needs to get some more damage on him. And hopefully they will just, like, discharge their stuff on Chrono. That would be fancy, because that would just heal him more. Nope, they decided to target Ayla. And Robo. Well then, so much for those hopes. I guess I'll just punch you to death then. Critical hit, 1540, because critical hits do four times damage now. It's crazy. It's crazy the upgrades that you get. Okay, uh, let's try going right here, maybe? Okay, there's a rock. Oh, you respawn. Well, frick. There's just some rock dudes. I don't really care about the rock guys. What is this? It's a hole. Oh my god. Goodness, this place is confusing. I remember being in this reptile castle, but I don't remember it being this confusing. Jeez. Okay, let's see. If we go up now. Well, that gets us that strength capsule that was behind here. And that opens you up, so we could now go back to where we were I feel like I'm definitely gonna like miss some chest in this place oh hey we can save just because of how big this place is I just feel like we're likely gonna miss something okay, that's empty we can go through here and there's another cave here oh what was that what was that noise is there a boss here this looks very boss roomy. I'm gonna explore around a little bit more before I uh, come back here. Okay. So, instead. No. Um. Yeah, no, we can get past here. Go through here. And what if we press the switch? Oh, that kills them. Oh, that's good. Okay, let's check down this part then. Oh, this is a chest for us. A wrath band. It sounds like... Equipment? 80% counter attack rate. Not bad. That means you counter very, very often. I don't really want to use it. Ah, oh, damn it. We have to fight you guys again. Getting two crits with Robo is very, very nice. Or with, uh, Chrono. Uh, what was over here? I forgot. Oh, yeah, there was those guys. That I'm not gonna bother with. Okay, I touched the... 
Right one, okay, left one is a high potion and the right one will drop us. Down in here. And what was this way? This was the save and the end. And then this way brings us back down here. Okay, I'm gonna just walk past you. There has to be more to explore in this cave that I didn't yet do. So let's go back now and take care of that, I suppose. We can climb back up here. We haven't been here yet, so this is new. Oh, we fell down. I guess we can't climb up that. So we'll have to find a way back again. Where is this? Ah, oh, this place is confusing. This is a small room. Wait, that puts us back here. Oh wait, this is at the very start where if we originally went down here, oh, and we would have just gotten stuck. So I just went the right way to begin with. Okay. So then I guess we should just make our way back because I'm pretty sure we've done everything we need to. I sheltered it up. Now let's go ahead and click this and we'll see if this is indeed a boss. Well, that sure looks like a boss. Let's do this. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy? Hello? Does it want to fight? It does want to fight. Doesn't it? If only I remembered this guy's weakness. Uh, Rust Tyrano. Let's start by charming it to see what we can get from it. Red Blade. I'm guessing that means you have, like, fire stuff? Let's do a lightning on you. Three seventy-four. Can, can we? Ah, oh, we can't do it. We're not close enough. You know what? I'm gonna try my triple tech. Because I'm curious what it is. Twister. Let's do it. Ooh. Well, hey, that's cool. Does it do a lot of damage? 2,500? 2,500 is good damage in my eyes. Let's do that again. I'm totally down with that. The only issue is that Ayla's MP consumption is going down really quickly. So she probably can't really keep up with the others. But other than that, it seems like a fine tactic so far. Use about 10 MP of Ayla, so... We'll just have to restore her MP in a little bit. I'm still not sure what to expect when this countdown comes, so... Maybe I can just outpower it before that time with twisters? If that works, I am A-OK -okay with using that as a tactic. One. Okay, it's coming any moment now. We're pretty well healed up, to be fair. Like... Robo's at max HP, and Chrono and... Um... Ayla have taken some damage, but nothing major. Zero. Okay, let's see. Here it comes. Spitting some fire all over the place. Which healed Robo because incidentally he indeed does have um, uh, Actually, let's you just attack. You use an item which is gonna be uh uh, mid ether, and you do 
what I want to call a heel beam. But yeah, Robo has like a red plate on, so of course it just healed him. So that's actually pretty good. Oh, you're chewing me up. And that heals you. You know, I'm not quite a fan of you healing yourself. I was working really hard on getting rid of that health, and then you just decide to go ahead and heal it up. No, I, I don't approve of that. So I'm going to do some more damage to your face. Flame strengthened? Well, that doesn't sound too great. Okay, it's going to come again in five turns. I actually don't have to worry at all about Rowell's health, because he'll just get healed up by this nicely. Um, but by the time that it comes, I should heal up Chrono and probably restore Ayla's MP. If I don't take it out beforehand, that is. Because there is a good chance, because I'm doing like 2500 damage every turn. That is not insignificant, you know? This guy seems to have a lot of HP, though. Two. Okay. Still two. Okay, I think after this I'm gonna heal just because that seems like the most logical choice to do. Yes, it's down to one. So definitely I should heal. Uh, you actually just... Oh, no, it went to zero already. I thought I had a little bit more time. I was just out of time, unfortunately. Okay, let's go ahead and use an um, Athenian Water. And you use a High Potion on Chrono. There we go. That gives him some good health back. You attack, you attack. Oh, come on. It's gonna do a lot of damage again. I was hoping for a four times crit, to be fair. Oh, wait. Ayla kill got killed by that? Dang it. I didn't see that happening. Somehow that missed... I missed that. He does like half your health with this, to be fair. That is pretty insane. Let's do a high potion on Ayla. Oh, he is already down to three. Um, you know what? I actually don't really think I can uh, do much anyway. I don't think that with the flame strengthened even further, Chrono or Ayla can survive it. So I'm just going to see if I can take it out in time. Yep, there we go. That actually did the trick. Chrono with another level up. And... Bye. Pretty big. This rainbow shell can eat. That seems heavy. Its mass is too great. We must obtain assistance from Guardia Castle. Okay. So we have to get assistance from Guardia Castle to lift this thing. Well, it's nice enough to bring us here. Well met, you are always welcome here. Is something troubling you? We would like to ask a favor. I see, so you wish for me to safeguard the shell you found on that island within the castle for future generations. Grant them this small favor. It's enough to, it's little enough to ask. Very well. I shall have the shell brought to the castle and stored in her vault as a royal heirloom. Commander. Yes, Majesty. Go to the giant's claw and retrieve for me this rainbow shell. At once, Your Majesty. I should have switched over to to Marty in the party. But, uh... We'll do it now. She is, at, she is at 1 HP, but whatever. Ooh, 
Where's Frog? Oh, we can put Frog in the party too. Why not? Frog! See so Aided Corner and the others. You've done a fine service. Please remain here as long as you wish. Your kind words are enough, Your Majesty. My heart is glad to hear them. Frog, I offer you thanks to you again. The valor of your deeds is worthy of the name of night. Your Majesty, please do not waste such words of honor on me. Interesting how they say things to Frog, but not to Marty. Weird. Hi, my, my ship is outside. You guys are really gonna say nothing to Marty? Um, okay, I mean, I guess that's all for this quest then? Because they're gonna bring the rainbow shell over here? I thought Marty would have something to do in Guardia Castle, but apparently not. Or I already missed it because I didn't have her in the fight when, or in the party when I approached the rainbow shell initially. Oh well, I think that's a pretty good place to end it. Uh, if there's more to this quest, as always, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to check that out. But for now, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next episode of Chrono Trigger when we tackle yet another side quest. See you guys then.